This is the high point of my week, genu genuinely. Talking to you guys, man, like, I look forward to <laughs> All right, so welcome to Dunk Bait, where we talk mostly basketball. Today, we'll be talking about Woj being suspended, LeBron opts out of social justice jerseys, and Matisse Thibel, he gives us the best look into the bubble. All right, so Woj uh, was being antagonized by a senator, I mean, we being a, keeping it a buck, in his emails and had a particular response and was suspended. Look, I know obviously ever since kind of the Black Lives Matter stuff and everything has been cracking in, in the world, we've, we've kind of started limiting our invites to the barbecue. Mm. I'm not saying that Welch can get an invite to the barbecue off this, but he can get it to go plate and we'll bring it to the parking lot for him, whatever <laughs> you want. You know, I'm sure Woj probably was like, oh, this is just spam. You know, I'm gonna throw my actual response in here and didn't think that someone would be scanning their inbox. And the pantheon of disrespectful things, it's not that big of a deal, you know what I'm saying? And he was suspended for being a human. Free that man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hold, hold on, can you guys give me one second? Hey, I'm shooting, guys. Is that your parents you're talking to like that? Yeah. This dude dropped this, oh, <laughs> this dude dragged it across his pants like that? You mom and dad. <laughs> yo, I'm, I, yo, I got a job to do right now, <laughs> you know? Trying to make ends meet, and y'all are getting away with that. LeBron opts out of the social justice jerseys. How are we feeling about it? I struggle with it because it's it's really a bigger story because it's LeBron doing it. I thought his sentiment behind why he's not doing it, like that he wanted to tailor an actual message that he kind of felt with his heart, you know, meant something. I thought that was nice. I thought, you know, and then he said, you know, I really respect the guys that are choosing to do stuff, but I thought the way he handled it was about as well as he could for opting out. I don't want to say it's performative. I appreciate everything the NBA is doing kind of to help with the social messaging, but I don't feel like guys are obligated to have to put anything on the back of their jersey. I think LeBron's going to get some criticism from the haters, but they would criticize LeBron no matter what he put on the jersey. He wouldn't be good enough. So I think for him, I understand where he's coming from, and I understand, you know, he's not knocking guys that want to do it. I think it's a good thing. It's a little performative, you know, if we're, if we're keeping it a buck. But I don't think it's a big deal because we know what LeBron does for the community. We know what guys like him, what guys like Steph and these other guys do. So putting a message on the back of their jerseys, I don't really think, you know, putting Black Lives Matter on the back of your jersey is not going to make Black Lives Matter to the people that are in power. So that's not like it's going to change the world anyway. So I, I can roll with it either way. I feel like the NBA took something that could have been powerful and watered it down to the point of where it's almost ineffective. This is the kids bop version of activism, okay? Um, so I understand why Bron wouldn't want to be a part of it. I get it. I mean, he does a lot of work like a lot of other guys do like outside of this. So yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, it's, it's unnecessary and I get why he doesn't find it, you know, important. So. Matisse Thibault is a very, very talented dude, not just at basketball. He, he's a Pac-12 guy, so Josiah knows when, you go to, when you're in a Pac-12 school, you gotta have things more than just the ability to hoop. So he went in there and he's been producing these vlogs. They've turned out amazing, giving kind of the most full picture as to what life in the bubble is like. These guys are really entertaining us during a pandemic. And people are talking about how it's a distraction, but honestly, for myself, it's a welcome distraction. Thank the most high that I'm getting a distraction. It's hard to be, you know, you know, inundated with all this negative news all the time. I just wanna say thanks to the players, man. I mean, you're seeing all the protocols that they're going through um, in order to try to stay safe. And they said like, there's, it's, this is the safest it can possibly be, which doesn't guarantee anything. Everything these guys are doing, you're getting to see the other side of these guys. You know, you pack 22 teams into Disney World. Guys all have cameras, they all got IG lives, they're all, you know, TikTok and making videos, entertaining us and showing us another side of them. I think it's really gonna endear them to fans. If you need any help, reach out to any of us. We're all savvy with production. You know, we can tell you, you know, leave that on the editing room floor or mm -hmm. roll with it. So we're getting a lot of information, you know, from inside the bubble. And there's a couple of sites that have been popping up um, it seems like there's a, like an NBA bubble life trend. How do y'all feel about that? Man, this stuff has been honestly great to see. You got, you know, I knew I knew bubble sites were gonna pop up, but you got guys who are, who are on the spot with the NBA bubble life burst on the scene. I think they've got, as of this taping, like somewhere over 30,000 followers in the course of a couple of days. But to see these guys posting all the great content, interacting with JJ Reddick, they got JJ Reddick, uh, down to shotgun a beer because he got 10,000 retweets on a tweet. So you just see how powerful the NBA Twitter and the social community is. And then looking at sites like NBA Bubble Report, which is coming with some heat, and Bubble Woj, which is honestly my, my favorite one of the crew. Now that Woj is uh, obviously suspended and locked up, we got a site that's still taking it to the ground, uh, 10 toes, putting out content. So I think we're going to see a lot of these bubble you know sites pop up, but I'm, you know, I'm just enjoying the level of comedy and humor and how, how great people and how talented they are at you know, bringing us the news that we crave. 
this dude that's running the NBA Bubble Life account in, is just curating everything. It's made my life a lot easier. And like so much of the stuff is so funny and it's just, it's kind of wonderful to get the sense that like, it's almost like NBA summer camp. And yes, you're getting sir. a little bit of an inside look at that. And I, I think it's pretty funny. So it's uh, it's been good to have it back in my life. I think seeing these guys in the bubble, and I think Josiah kind of talked about this a little bit, is like, we're seeing them as humans. And mm. it's, it's impossible. I, I even like Pat Beverly right now. I'm a Pat <laughs> Beverly. Yeah. Them white you know tees. what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I mean? Them white tees. He a real one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, he the white tee plug. With like, the I'm like, okay. Turning too. Yeah, they, right. That's, that's, that's who I want to go get a drink with after. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mess with him. So, I mean, it, it's how are you going to dislike actually?